Hey Capricorn, this is Cass from Cass of the Divine Feminine and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a, a pop-up reading for to see what you have coming up this weekend, the 23rd through the 25th. Today is Friday the 23rd, so the next 72 hours, I already see 888, so it looks like you got some abundance coming in this weekend, Some or some good opportunities that is going to bring abundance. And abundance isn't always just necessarily financial. You might see an abundance in love. An abundance in joy, an abundance in creativity, you know, anything. It, abundance can be anything. So maybe you're going to have a creative weekend this weekend, uh, Capricorns. Let's see. Do it big then. Do it big. All right, do it big then, Capricorns. So y'all definitely going to be doing it big this weekend. We got beware in reverse. So, So we got peace. Um, peace and beware in reverse. I feel like this has something to do happy in reverse. Okay, be careful. Okay, y'all are letting sisterhood. Y'all are letting go of a petty ass friend, like someone that's drama. Within the next few weeks, player. Smoke a blunt and chill. Beware of this unhappy person. You, Yeah, you bringing back in your own... You're bringing in peace. You're letting go of an unhappy-ass person that you might have had a sisterhood with. 555, five, five, change. We got change coming in. Smoke a blunt and chill. What else do we have for Capricorn Spirit? Too many cards. What else do we have for Capricorn Spirit? I think I'm going to pull out tarot. Meditate. Someone wants you. And the answer to whatever you've been contemplating, Capricorn, is no. Whatever you've been thinking about, something you've been thinking about, whether you should do it or not, the answer is no. And you're worth love. So that's, I have a feeling that has something to do with romance. So you might be thinking of hitting that sneaky link and spirit saying, nah, don't do that. Because you might have a little more feelings for that little sneaky link than you really care to admit to yourself. And you're just going to end up being in your feelings. I see, I saw the uh, seven, of, was that the seven of swords? Somebody might, hey, somebody might be coming in to start some drama. That might be that person uh, that it was saying, that unhappy person that they were saying, the spirit was saying, beware of. Someone that you're choosing peace over. What do we have for Capricorns for this weekend, Spirit? The completion of a cycle. Someone is letting go of something. Some secrets might be exposed this weekend. What do we have going on for Capricorn, Spirit? Somebody's in their head about something. See that Ten of Cups. I mean, that Ten of Swords came out. Someone had a betrayal. That nine of swords that I just saw. Okay. So, why? Oh, yeah. We got some, uh, somebody, somebody, uh, some deceitful lying ass person that may have stabbed you in your back. Is this all the same person, spirit? Um, this might be somebody from. You're turning down someone that you have mutual feelings for. Tell me about this five of swords. Who's this liar? Someone that you originally wanted balance with. Somebody that might be manipulating a situation. They might be breadcrumbing you. Capricorn. We got the magician, the four of wands, and uh, the two of pentacles for this, for this five of swords. So this is somebody that may have been very manipulative, may have paid it, painted, uh, told you what you wanted to hear and never uh, clarify the magician, the star Aquarius, five of cups in reverse, ten of wands, 
This is someone that you may be burdened over. Ace of Pentacles, the lovers. I shuffled these cards. The same cards are coming out. Spirit, can you please give me the current energy read of what's happening for Capricorn this weekend? What's happening for Capricorn this weekend? What's happening for Capricorn this weekend, Spirit? We got 528 on the clock. What's up with this Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is a Knight of Wands coming in with the Ace of Wands. So you're in your head. I think this Knight of Wands is in their head. Ten of, ten of Swords, please, Spirit. The Tower and the Hierophant. Hold on. Okay. This might have been someone that treated you like an option. We have the Tower and the Hierophant for the, uh, the Ten of Swords. And then we also have the Seven of Cups. So what you have coming towards you this weekend is somebody that... Someone that's hot, that lied to you, created illusions. Someone that's coming in with a passionate offer. Somebody that's been in and out a hoe. Someone that you know for sure is a player. You, you probably already know he has these other options. This is somebody with options. I feel like them options are drying up for them. This, I feel like, okay, this is a person who's having an ego hit. The devil. The nine of pentacles. The five of wands. You finna block somebody. You're finna block this per and they're stalking you too. They're watching you on social media. Seven of swords. You might, they might be pissed off at something that they've seen on your social media. Yeah, okay. So you have somebody that ain't shit. So that, that's what Spirit was telling you. <laughs> With that no card, no. Ah, ah. No, Capricorn. Ah, ah. You, you better than this. Let it go. We got messages coming in. The devil. The lovers. This is a codependent relationship. This person is obsessed. This person may have addictions, may be addicted to you. The devil's still at the bottom of the deck. Somebody with a lot of burdens. This is a person that probably had had a traumatic life. But okay, I don't you're not accepting this offer. I don't see you accepting this. Will of Fortune, everything happened in divine timing. Your luck's finna change. <clears throat> Damn, I need some. What, what the fuck is happening? See this? Four of Cups still came out. You're not accepting this offer. That hurt. My throat started burning out of nowhere. Like I just got done smoking. <clears throat> Maybe someone just <clears throat> took a hit of a blunt and now you. Because that's what it feels like. Like, you know, when you hit the blunt too hard and it burns the fuck out of your throat and you just cough up a fucking lung. Maybe one of y'all just took a real bad hit. Look at my eyes now. <laughs> Somebody's smoking. I don't see you take... Okay, so what's going to happen? I see you getting everything you wished for, everything you want, everything you've worked hard for. Saw the uh, Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So what's going to be the outcome spirit? Hold on. I want to shuffle some more. The two of cups. You have somebody new coming. Capricorn has somebody new coming. Ten of pentacles. I saw the ten of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is coming with a love offer. King of swords and a queen of swords. 
you might be a person that's kind of like you're a little more on the serious side you don't really like to joke a lot or you yeah you or you're not like you're not a very emotional person you're emotionally dry <laughs> I see a match coming for you. Somebody that's equally emotionally dry. Like, somebody might be crying over something and you'd be like, okay. Like, ew. <laughs> so my, your friend might be crying over their baby daddy and you're like, bitch, if you don't carry on with that shit, there is another one where that came from. Like, you just don't care. You gotta... There's somebody coming in, the King of Cups. There's somebody that's gonna come in, the King of Swords. I keep seeing that King of Swords. You got a King of Swords coming in. Whether you feminine or masculine. If it's masculine, you... This fucking lion-ass person keeps coming up. Like, somebody really wanna come and start shit with you. Let me see. <coughs> Somebody try. The chariot. What's with this five of swords? I mean, the seven of swords spirit. Somebody's working hard. It's going to come in trying to work really hard to deceive you. Yep. Someone you finna block. Because you're done with their illusions. You see past their illusions, so you're blocking them. You are going to get victory in this situation. And you're going to you're gonna end up, you're going to remain single. And in your energy, nine of pentacles. You got a new beginning coming. This queen of swords got a new beginning coming. Hierophant. King of cups. Okay. I see you letting this shit go. I don't see it messing with you. Let's get some angel messages real quick. Somebody is trying to come in, though, like, on some really deceitful ass shit. Like, somebody is intent on deceiving you, coming in, trying to get their way with you. But it ain't, it ain't working. It says you're going to have victory. What uh, messages do you have, angels, for Capricorn? My throat really burns, y'all. What the fuck? <coughs> Capricorn. Capricorn. Get more information. Ask others for help. Okay, so this get more information card. Um, this is you're gonna be asking all. They're gonna like I said, they're gonna come in working really hard to deceive. They're gonna they're gonna be in there like working hard to keep their mask up. But you already know what's up. So this get more information. I feel like you're gonna be putting them again in a corner. They're gonna be. Talking, you know, oh, yeah, I'm single now, this and that. You looking good. And, and you're going to be asking all the right questions to the point where they're going to start. Is They're going to go in fight or flight mode. So that's probably where the, the conflict is going to come in. Like, the shit's going to go left only because they're going to feel backed in the corner because you're going to be asking too many questions. Ask others for help. Keep your your uh, spirit guide. When, when you have this conversation, before you have this conversation, pray. Spirit guides, ancestors, keep me protected. Guide my words, guide my throat, keep my throat chakra protected. Guide me to say the right thing so that I can blow the lid off of this and let this person know that I know that they're deceitful and they can no longer play me. Make sure you pray before you enter this shit. We got to compromise. They're going to try and compromise with you. I see yes, whatever other issue, uh, whatever other question you have, yes, and wait. And compromise so yes definitely pray seek your spiritual guides before you go into this they're gonna try and compromise they're gonna who 
Pull his spirit out. Communicate clearly. Okay, so don't speak too fast. Like, don't just, as soon as they start, don't jump down there. Wait, let them talk. Let them dig their own hole, okay? Let them bury themselves. Allow them to talk first. Don't just, don't come, don't go into the situation combative and ready to jump on them, okay? Pray, center yourself. Let them dig their own hole. They're going to start saying things and you're going to catch on to the shit that they're saying. And you're going to know what follow-up questions to ask. And that's what's going to take the shit left for them. As soon as they start going off and they get to that back in the corner, a wounded animal back in the corner, fight or flight, that's when you end the conversation. Say, I wish you well. I wish you the best. And that's it. Okay. Y'all are going to be fine. That's what I see happening for y'all this weekend, uh, Capricorns. All right. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think.